Hey everyone, welcome back to Roulette Fever. You know the last strategy was about outside bet strategy, the red black strategy. So yeah, I'm back with another inside bet strategy today. And we're gonna play it on American Roulette and I'm gonna use that disadvantage of double zero to our advantage, okay? You'll get to see how I'm gonna play with it. We are gonna place $2 bet on the on the double street okay and we're gonna choose any other three corner bits okay and we're gonna place one dollar bit on those other three corner bits and those we are gonna choose those corner bits on the basis of last hitting numbers okay unless they overlap each other so in this case nine next one is 31 and another one was 22 so i'm gonna choose this one and let's spin we're going to follow a certain progression and the degradation will depend on how much far we are from our all-time session high okay so let's go and we're going to increase it by one unit on each and every bit after we lose so let's spin i could have pressed that 2x button but but i wanted to give you the demonstration so in this case that Double street is our, kind of our jackpot, you know, you need to remember that we're up by 13 already and we're not going to change that bet on that double street. Okay. Obviously, we're going to reduce the bet amount and come back to our base bet because we have, we are born and we have reached into a new session high because, but we are going to change those corner bets after we win. You, you know, we are going to follow the last hitting numbers, but don't chase those corner bets while you are in progression. Okay. So in this case, two is already covered. So we are gonna go for thirty-three with one dollar, one dollar and nine, one dollar and nine. Another one is thirty-one, but thirty-one is you know overlapping. So we are gonna look for twenty-two, okay? And let's spin. Oh, you understand what I'm trying to imply here? And when it comes to a matter of degradation, so if you see, well, we are going once again, and this time we don't need to change anything. Let's spin. Once again, I think could change, but I can change this one, transform this to this one. That's all. Anyway, so yeah. So as I was saying, that if you if you found if you find yourself, you know, uh, winning after in a progression, if you find yourself that you haven't reached a new session high after a win, in that case, we are gonna follow the degradation, but the degradation will depend on how far we are from the all-time session high you know and our next bet is going to be on the basis of that so we are not going to take any excess risk than what we are uh, need to take you know we are not going to take anything more than that Okay, we hit the double street once again. We're up by 30 and we're going to go back to the base bet. You know, in this case, we are going to hope that any of these five numbers come because that's kind of a jackpot for us. And again, we are going to follow the last hitting numbers while choosing the corner bets. So, yeah, this one, 20, this one, and this two is overlapping or already covered. So, 33 in this case, this one, so let's spin. Don't change your corner bits while you are in progression and keep that bit on the double street. You know, always bit on the double street because that's a jackpot kind of a thing for us. Spin. Okay, we hit zero once again and I'm happy. I'm happy, really happy in this case, as you can understand. Okay, so. Yeah, let's clear it out. Come back to our base bet. I think yes. And in this case, I'm gonna change this one because we took up a 21 as last hitting number. So let's spin. Let's see how soon can we get to 50. Hoping. And we hit the double street once again. And anyway, I haven't needed to give you an example on how to use the degradation. You know, as I said that. You will find yourself in certain situations where you'll see that after winning through progression, you are you haven't reached onto a new session high, and in this in that case, you'll have to follow 
you'll have to follow the process of degradation. But you don't need to follow the rigid system by reducing your bed size by one dollar on each and every bed on every step. You know, you can come back down by three or four steps. But you need to figure it out by calculating on how far you are from a new session high. And that's your betting units gonna be, you know, that's how you're gonna decide your betting units. Anyway, in this case, I don't need to change anything. Let's spin. I hope you understand what I'm talking about the progression. No? And in this strategy, you can face back to back losses because you are betting on only so few numbers, as you can see. And yes, let's go. But you need to be patient. And remember that all and session I always, you know, in this case, this was 38. I think I placed it here yeah. so rather than betting with two dollars, I bet with one dollar on that one. What? No, oh, I may have messed that one up, but let's see anyway. Yeah, I think so. Let me say I Yes, I think so. I missed that up because I should have increased it by two dollars. But anyway, I'm gonna keep that rhythm going on. I'm not gonna change anything further. So we win. But we haven't reached onto a new session high. Okay. So in this case, this was I was talking about, you know. So in this case, we are going to reduce our bed size, obviously, but we are going to reduce it by certain numbers, you know, we are not going to go back directly to our base bed or we are not going to follow just minus one kind of step, you know, in this case, we are going to bet with $2 on corner bets and $4 on the double street and we're going to follow the last hitting numbers while choosing the corner bets. Okay. You'll have to do the calculation of how far you are from the all time session high and your corner bits and other bits are going to depend on that through degradation. Otherwise, you can follow that rigid system or minus one, you know, after each and every win, but that's going to be a risk one. So that's why I'm saying that you will have to do the calculation. That's all. Okay, we win once again. But we haven't reached a new session high. But in this case, we can go back to the base bet, you know, because if we win, we are going to get onto a new session high. Or at least at par with the previous session high. I hope you understand what I'm saying. So reduce or minimize your risk as much as you can. Because we are betting on, on, with inside bets and obviously we are covering only so few numbers. 23 is overlapping. So we are going to for seven i think yes let's spend okay, we hit the double straight once again great on other occasions we fear that double zero and zero but here that's our jackpot so let's spin once again face a loss and we're not going to change anything but increase our bed size that's all it's fine i think yes it's been... remember that previous all-time session high which was 43 i think and we need to keep that in mind spin and we are not going to change our corner bits while we are in progression that's all we have hit the double straight and we have crossed our target we have reached our target okay. so this was the strategy guys okay and keep that strict stop loss of 100 which i, I had kept because i always keep the double of the amount i'm targeting as my stop loss in a per session and let me know if you want to make any modifications into it 
I may sound a bit low because I'm recording this video late night, you know. I had office and all of the stuff. But anyway, I hope you have you guys have enjoyed the video and let me know if you want to make any modifications into it. Thanks for watching, guys. Keep on supporting. I'm gonna see you on the next video.